What's going on there, guys? Good morning, good afternoon. To some out there, it's the Earth Master here on the end of this weekend, Sunday, November 20th, 2022. It's about 12.25 p.m. California time here along the West Coast and still seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity across the Indonesia Islands area and also right around the Philippines overnight. Pretty good cluster of earthquakes, including some deeper movement quakes out here along the Kermadec Trench. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here across the region. Uh, here is the movement over the last 24 hours in the Fiji area, seeing quite a bit of deep movement earthquakes again, well below 500 kilometers deep. The last one, a 4.5 into a section here of the Tonga Trench. Uh, actually, in between the Tonga and the Kermadec Trench area for that 4.5, sitting down there at 548 kilometers deep. Yesterday, we did see some movement on the North Island, New Zealand area. No further activity, at least far as 4.0 and above goes. Let me bring up the globe here. Doesn't look like there's um, anything new to report in this area overnight, um, but still keeping an eye on that pretty closely. Papua New Guinea seen some movement. Late last night, about looks like a 5.0 at 10 kilometers deep. And the cluster of quakes that we're seeing on the globe are a lot of them are below the 4.0 threshold here for the Indonesia area. Although there is some upper threes pretty close uh, to the four range. Again, most of those are below the 4.0 threshold. That's kind of why they're not showing up on the USGS model. 4.3 here around the Java Trench. Uh, one of the more recent quakes not showing up here on the USGS map either for some reason. But uh, they do have a 5.1 into the uh, Indonesia area at 10 kilometers deep. But just note, quite a bit of clustering of quakes around this area. A uh, good sign to be on guard throughout the Philippines and uh, generally this whole area right now. Uh, Mariana Trench is lacking activity. That's a, a zone that we're going to watch here pretty closely as well because the westward pressure movement here uh, in this area has been pretty great uh, with only minimal adjustment up here around the Mariana Trench. We'll watch that for some potential movement. A 4.3 looks like just off the coast of Japan coming in right now. Uh, USGS not reporting that quake yet. Uh, I'm sure they'll get on to it, but uh, that's coming into the Japan Trench, it looks like. Uh, up here around the Kuril Kamchaka Trench, we've seen one earthquake here. 163 kilometer deep, 4.2 around the Kuril Islands. This area has been showing seismically active uh, activity. Seems like it's bouncing back and forth between the uh, uh, this end section here down towards the Japan Trench. But I believe this area is capable of producing a pretty large earthquake. There's enough strain there built up uh, that uh, we could see one. Nothing new over here across this area of the world. Let me see what we got for the uh, Mediterranean region. Looks like a 4.3 just off the coast here of Greece. 10 kilometers deep and some older movement it looks like. Actually there was a 4.1 here off the coast of Algeria overnight about 4 in the morning. 10 kilometers deep for that 4.1 Atlantic Ocean calm and clear South America region not showing a whole lot of activity we did see a 4.9 out here along a divergent boundary off of the uh, Chile rise let me see what we got here for uh, South America movement looks like uh, a lot of threes and some twos in the mix there um, but nothing really above that USGS just has a 4.2 in the uh, Chile Bolivia border uh, border region here earlier this morning about 2:40 or so in the morning my time caribbean plate uh some activity off the coast there of nicaragua that uh coming in late last night and uh, looks like a little bit more further activity overnight here around the puerto rico area 4.1 in mona passage region i was from yesterday all right let's look at the states here real quick one earthquake one lonely earthquake up here in the main region about 11 kilometers deep for that 1.9. Occasionally we do get some earthquakes up there, nothing major. Uh, Texas, Oklahoma region, all somewhat fairly quiet. We did see a 2.5 out around the Pecos, Texas area early this morning. Uh, West Coast region, got the latest quake here around the uh, 1.1, just north of Santa Clarita area. 
Let's see which fault system that is on. Looks like it's off of the Clearwater Fault Zone. A couple different segments here that go through the mountains. Uh, that's the latest quake there on the map. Also, one little earthquake here down on the San Jacinto Fault Mountain or the mountains, just off the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, 0.4 near Oasis, California. Overnight, we did see a little bit of activity out here off the Brawley Seismic Zone. Uh, this is the area that does see quite a bit of swarming, and this, when it happens up here around the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault, it kind of gets me a little on the nervous side, but so far, we've only had two earthquakes, a 1.3 and a 1.8, uh, basically within minutes of each other, nothing since. Uh, also a little bit of activity at the southern end of the Borali Seismic Zone, uh, seeing a little bit of a, a little cluster of swarms of earthquake activity overnight as well. Notice the time frame, roughly about the same time as this movement up here. Uh, so we really haven't seen anything uh, more recent uh, than that uh, activity early this morning time frame. But uh, either way, kind of gave a, a good indication of some regional pressure there at the time. Up north, uh, movement along the creeping section there, pretty minimal. Some activity outside of the Bay Region 1.2 from uh, early this morning, actually just a couple hours ago, and outside of the San Leandro area, seeing a 1.1 this morning time frame. Not a whole lot going on across Northern California or the Pacific Northwest. Out here in Northern Nevada, outside of the Sheldon area, seen a couple small earthquakes overnight. Looks like a 1.8, the largest in that sequence. Uh, nothing showing up here across Yellowstone and the um, Yellowstone overview map is still currently not working, so I've been using the University of Utah, uh, the earthquake uh, folks up here that do monitor the Yellowstone region, which is up here, and these are all seismograph stations. Just been watching these and uh, keeping a close eye on them. Overnight, uh, looks like a couple small microquakes here. I know this is kind of small, but uh, Kind of see them in here with these little small um, spikes indicating some very small microquakes, but nothing major coming in uh, to the region currently or overnight. Uh, Alaska region still seeing a push of activity up here, even up north across the Br uh, Brooks Range area. Uh, latest activity shows some movement just <clears throat> outside of the Trident Volcano. Looks like um, a 4.1 just to the west of Trident. Uh, this area has seen a pretty good swarm of activity over the last couple months. This is just the last 30 days. And looking at about 288 earthquakes here around the vicinity of the Trident Volcano area. So uh, just kind of watching it pretty closely. Seeing how this plays out. It is, of course, within the subduction margin here of the Pacific Plate and the North American uh, subduction zone. California, I mean, uh, California out here in the ocean, <laughs> let's hope not. The Big Island, sorry folks, I didn't mean to say California out there. Mauna Loa, got some activity right up at the top. A couple small microquakes overnight and this morning time frame. Nothing within the last hour, so just kind of taking a little break there it looks like across the Big Island. And uh, just kind of watching this day as it progresses. Still watching our areas around New Zealand. Mariana Trench and up here around the Kuro Kamachaka Trench. Looks like they were definitely showing some height and movement. Uh, and then, of course, looking at the Earthquake 3D globe here, we can kind of see where all of our uh, earthquake pressure is kind of building up today. And it's definitely around the Mariana Trench, uh, the southwestern portion here of the Filipino Plate, uh, and into the Indonesia region, uh, where we're seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity. So just a heads up there for that region. Solar weather activity, just going to make a quick update here, folks. We're still kind of looking at potentially a G1 class storm coming up here throughout the day today and tonight. So if you're up in the higher latitudes, you have a 70% chance across the next couple nights here of seeing the auroras. Even mid-latitudes have a 30% chance. Now that is if this thing doesn't completely miss us. Uh, it's all dependent on the uh, forecast models there from the SDO, uh, the space folks there that monitor the... Uh, Coronal hole activity and the direction of any CMEs or coronal hole high, you know, high speed uh, solar wind stream that would be flowing at Earth. Uh, they monitor that and put out forecasts. And it looks like they're expecting a G1 class storm. But as I said a couple days ago, I think it's going to miss us. But we'll see uh, how this plays out here a little bit later tonight. Right now, not a whole lot going on. 
Across the region, KP index there pretty low. Solar weather activity, things are diminishing on the solar flare uh, chart as well. Not a whole lot of flaring going on. We did have a sea flare overnight, looks like. But 80% uh, chance for a sea flare, 25% chance for an M flare, 1% for X flare. And uh, taking a look at the sunspots here, 3147 is going to be entering into our direct bullseye region here, as far as the Earth goes. And unfortunately, overnight, it looks like it's kind of degraded a little bit. It uh, looks pretty stable as far as the magnetic structure goes within this sunspot. Kind of bounces back and forth. But this one up here looks a little bit more dynamic, uh, getting in on some a little bit more complex instability in the fields of that sunspot, which is 3149. So we'll watch these two little regions here for potential flaring in the coming hours and days. The coronal hole over here that has been uh, or that's kind of kicked up the G1 storm forecast is facing away from Earth now. But again, we do have that solar wind stream headed towards us. But uh, we'll watch and see if we didn't uh, maybe just miss it. Barely. We'll definitely keep a close eye on it. All right, folks, have a good day. I got a tremendous amount of schoolwork to do today. Again, I've uh, just been busy nonstop here. So um, it's one of my busier Seems like one of my busier weeks here with the um, the classes I'm taking. Just a lot going on. Um, so I will chat at you guys a little bit later tonight. If something changes out here, uh, you know, as far as any unusual activity, we'll definitely be here in the computer room monitoring activity. Of course, working on my schoolwork here as well. And uh, we'll catch you guys a little bit later tonight with the complete update video. Till then, stay safe, folks. We'll catch you guys later.